Today we are going to see D flip flop. Before studying this, we need to know the SR flip flop. I already explained the theory of SR flip flop and the practical. This is the SR flip flop and this is the truth table of SR flip flop. And in that video, I explained in details how we are getting this truth table. From this, we can understand that if clock is 1 and S and R both are 1, then the output will be invalid. So we don't need this. Here it is memory and here also it is memory. When clock is 0, we will get memory and it doesn't matter whether it S is 0 or R is 0. So to get the memory, we simply keep the clock 0. So we don't need this. Now see these two inputs. When S is 1, then R is 0. And whenever S is 0, R is 1. So what we will do is, we will connect a NOT gate in between these two. So if here it is 1, then obviously here we will get 0. And whenever we put here 0, then we will get 1. And this is our D flip flop. So instead of 3 inputs, now in the D flip flop we have 2 inputs. One is clock and another one D. If clock is 0, then we will get the memory state. When clock is 1, D is 1, then we will get Q1, Q bar 0. And when d is 0, then we will get q0, q bar 1. So in this way, we can convert sr flip-flop to d flip-flop. Now we will see this in practical. For the practical, I am using the NAND gate IC 7400 and the NOT gate IC 7404. I also explained about these two, link in the description below. Ok, now we will see the practical circuit of d flip-flop. We need 4 NAND gate. To provide the input, we will use push button switch. Also, we will use another push button switch for the clock pin. If we provide another input in here, then it will be SR flip flop. To make it D flip flop, we will connect a NOT gate with this input. For the SR flip flop, it was S and now it is D. So here, these are the two inputs. To see the output, we have to connect LEDs and with a series resistor 220 ohms. And to see the input, here also we will connect the LEDs. And also with the input, we have to connect the pull down resistor. These are 10 kilo ohms. As we know, for the gate 1 of 7400, the output of gate 1 is pin 3. And these are the two inputs. It is pin 6 and 4, 5, it is 11, the input is 12 and 13 and for the gate 3, the output pin is pin 8 and the input is 9 and 10 and for the IC7404, it is pin 1 and pin 2. For this two IC, pin 7 should be connected to the ground and pin 14 should be connected to the plus 5 volt. So this is the connection. Now we'll see this on breadboard. 7400, 7404, two inputs. Here it is D and the clock. Pin 14 of both the IC is connected to the plus 5 volt and pin 7 is connected to the ground. Pull down resistor is connected with pin number 9 and with pin number 10 of 7400 according to the circuit. One pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt it is D and it is clock. D is connected to pin 9 and the clock is pin 10 of 7400. Pin 10 and 12 are connected together. Now I am connecting the input LEDs. In between pin 9 and 13 of 7400, NOT gate is connected. Here is pin 9 and this is the input of NOT gate and pin 13. This is the output of not get. Pin 8 and 1, 2 and 6, 
pin 11 and 5, pin 3 and 4. So this is how D flip flop connection is completed. Now we have to connect the output LEDs. This will be Q, Q bar. We will get the Q from pin 3 and from 6 we will get the Q bar. So these are connected. Now we have to connect both the positive and negative rails. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt. Here is ground plus 5 volt. This is what initially we are getting D0 clock 0. When clock is 0, it doesn't matter whether D is 0 or 1, the output will be memory. Now clock is 0, it doesn't matter whether D is 1 or 0, this will be the memory. Now if clock is 1, clock 1 and if D is 1, Q1, Q1 and Q bar 0, Q1, Q bar 0 and when clock is 1 and D0, Q0, Q bar 1. So this is what we are getting and now if I remove the clock, so this should be our memory. Now whether D is 0 or 1, it will not change. Again clock 1, D0, we are getting this. Now clock 0, it will not change. So this is how our D flip flop is working. So these are the basic thing we need to know about D flip flop. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.